What's going on Brownie Bros? It is Big Time Brownie here for our week two team builder for the Trainers Battle Association. We are the Columbus Shrew Pokemon Club and we are taking on the Texas Tauros this week. If you did miss last week's battle, make sure you go check it out. I'm about to spoil the result. Um, we are currently 0-1. We um, lost a really close battle last week against the St. Kilda Kildios. Um, you know, there was some hacks, but it didn't really, I really don't think it impacted I, the game, I still miss, made some misplays at the end, um, and I was way too passive around Rotomo. Um, I didn't do a, de a debrief last week. I might do it this week. Um, I'll have to decide. But yeah, um, if you want to check out more about the league, I'll put a link, as always, to the document in the description below, um, where all the results are, as well as all the teams um, and stuff like that. So today we are bringing Greninja again. This time we are choice scarfing our uh, Genji, our Greninja. And before we do that, let's look at his team first, um, or her team, um, their team. I sh that's you know, <laughs> unfortunately I, I don't know any of these people like in person, so don't want to misgender them. Um, and that's not a joke. I really want to be respectful. So um, they have Ferrothorn, uh, Mega Metacham, Zapdos, Gliscor, Linoon, Mistrevis, Tauros, Crocodile, Nidoking, King, Maltres, and Milotic. And the first thing that stood out to me on, on his team is he does not deal with Ice-type moves well. He only has one resistance in Milotic. Um, and, you know, he also he has three ground types, so that's three Ice-type weaknesses there. He has Zapdos, which is um, another Ice-type weakness. So a, a lot of his best Pokemon are weak to Ice um, and also weak to Water. So um, we do have our Genji, our Greninja here. Um, with Ice Beam to deal with those Pokemon. And then we also have Hydro Pump as well as just sort of a stronger move. Um, we can hit Moltres for super effective damage. Um, so, I, you know, and it's it's just the strongest move. Um, you know, I originally had Water Shuriken because I was afraid of Extreme Speed, but then I realized Extreme Speed will outspeed me no matter what um, I, from Linoon. So um, I decided to go for Hydro Pump. Um, and then we have HP Fire for the Ferrothorn and U-Turn for some Switch Initiative. Um, and I just, I closed my, ah, I closed, I accidentally closed my tab, but it's all good. We're gonna, we're gonna bring it back up here. Um, so, yeah, so that's the first mod we bring. And looking at his team, I thought, I, you know, it's, again, not the fastest team in the world. Tauros has 110 speed. Mega Metacham has 100 base speed. Crocodile has, I think, like 90s. It's, it's in the 90s. Um, Nido King is not too fast. So I knew that our Landorus, um, I could basically outspeed everything. We have 252 um, investment in attack and 248 um, in speed. We are naive, so we will be taking special, special hits a little bit harder. But I wanted to put HP Ice on this thing because of um, the potential... Um, uh, what am I looking for? The Gliscor switch in, or even, you know, yeah, the Gliscor. Basically, it's for the Gliscor, because Earthquake does a lot to everything else. It, we also have Stone Edge and Rocky MZ. Originally, I had Fighting, Fighting MZ for the uh, Ferrothorn, and when I was testing, that actually worked, but plus two, and we have Swords Dance here, plus two EQ in the sand knocks out um, the regular set of Ferrothorn. If he has a little bit more, if he's like fully defensive, um, it'll be a two-hit KO. Um, but after rocks and stuff and um, after rocks, you know, we should be able to take it out. So uh, we have the 248 speed because we, we don't need max speed to outspeed Metacham, which is um, the only thing besides Tauros that outspeeds us. Tauros was a good mon and actually is kind of scary. Um, but, uh, and you know, I, I might have to figure out a better way to deal with it, but I think we should be okay. Um, so yeah, we have our Swords Dance there. And this mon is just incredible. Um, we then have Flea Bottom, our Bronzong being, making its TBA debut with Leftovers and Levitate. We have Stealth Rock, Protect, Psy Wave, and Toxic. Um, I had HP Fire originally on, on Flea Bottom here, but, you know, after testing it only did like 27%. Psy Wave does a max of like 40, so obviously it doesn't always do that much, but I figured I'd just go for it. We have Toxic, uh, which is nice stall, and we have Protect. I originally had Culverberry too for the Crocodile to get, because so, I didn't want to get Pursuit Trapped. Um, but, you know, um, and, you know, I, like, I kind of want to put Gyro Ball or something for Crocodile, but I think, um, the best thing we can do 
I, a toxic protect. I, th I don't, there's nothing I really want to get rid of. Protect is really nice to get our lefties recovery um, and to get an extra uh, turn of toxic off against, you know, Milotic or something. Um, and on the other hand, protect is so good for high jump kick. We didn't have Basam, our Tyranitar, uh, with this holding the Smooth Rock. It's a mixed attack or four attack mod with Ice Beam, Stone Edge, Thunder Punch, and Fire Blast. Um, so initially I had, what did I have? I had a T-Wave instead of Thunder Punch, but... And that was really for Metacham on the switch in. But looking at his team, um, he has so many immunities to T-Wave. I don't think it really matters. Um, and on the and also, you know, Thunder Punch. I thought, you know, Milotic. If it comes down to that one v one, I'd rather get some some damage off, some guaranteed damage off with T-Punch um, instead of relying on Stone Edge. So um, and then we have a Smooth Rock, obviously, to extend our Sandstorm, which will help out our Landorus, and also will help out our next Mon, our Choice Banded Sahil, which um, has Play Rough, Ice Fang, Wild Charge, and Superpower. Um, so Play Rough is really good for Metacham. We outspeed everything in the um, in the Sand uh, with the Sand Rush. Um, Play Rough hits Metacham, it hits Crocodile uh, for super effective damage, and it just does decent all-around damage. Um, to other Pokemon, we have Ice Fang here for Gliscor, King again for Crocodile, potentially Zapdos as well. Um, um, so there's that. And then we also have our, our Wild Charge, just specifically for Milotic, and Superpower for the Ferrothorn, and Superpower can hit some other Mons. I might go Fire Fang, but, um, actually, should I go Fire Fang? Because Fire Fang does neutral to more Pokemon. Um, then superpower. He actually has a lot of superpower resistances, so um, I'm actually going to change that right now to the fire thing, um, even though it does have a chance to miss. 65 times um, uh, 4. So that would be what? 240 um, plus 20 is 260, where superpower is 240. Um. We'll go for Fire Fang. We have a chance to burn too, which could be... That could end up biting us in the butt. We'll see. Uh, and then finally we have our AV Franklin, fully defensive with Scald or a Sphere. Uh, HP Fire Rapid Spin. Scald is decent stab. It uh, it can hit Moltres. Um, it can also maybe hit Zapdos. I might switch this... Should I switch this to Ice Beam? Nah, I mean, it's not like... I'm going to always be switching out when Zapdos comes in anyway. Um, so... Yeah, and then we have Aura Sphere. It's, this is literally my my Linoon counter and potentially my Tauros counter. So I wanted to have Aura Sphere there, HP Fire for the uh, Ferrothorn, and then Rapid Spin to get rid of any uh, hazards. Crocodile is and Gliscor can set up rocks, and then he has Spikes with Ferrothorn, maybe T Spikes with Nido King. So he has some options there for the um, uh, what's it called for the hazards. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the team. Um, I think. I'm a little bit nervous because if we go 0 and 2, you know, it's it's not a great start for our season. You know, Fire Fang does make me a little bit nervous. Um, you know, every single move except for Wild Charge can miss. If they're all 95% accurate, but um, I don't know. Stellan's kind of a beast, so I, I I feel like I feel like it's worth it. It's all worth it. And our Wing Con, you know, I think it's going to be this Greninja as well as Sahil in the sand. So we're going to need to keep Basam, Sahil, and Genji alive and be switching a lot with Flea Bottom and Franklin. And we can absorb some hits with Donald and, and you know, potentially nuke something. So that's going to be the plan. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are we going to go one and one Do you think it's... Uh, what, what changes would you have made to my team looking at his team or their team, excuse me? Um, yeah, with that, um, that's going to be it for this team builder. Uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like. Um, it really will help me out. Welcome to all the new subscribers um, who came because of the Pokegame interview. Uh, I'm so excited to have you guys here, and I hope you guys will stay and enjoy the content. Um, just so I might do another update video just, you know, to update you guys on what's going on because there's a lot of new people. Um, and also, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure if I want to continue with Emerald. I'm just not really motivated to play that right now. Um, and I just don't think it'll be good content. So, um, I think for right now I'm going to stick with the Showdown content. And potentially I might do a Pokemon Insurgis Insurgents excuse me, playthrough. Um, that had been suggested to me. So, um, Emerald's going to be on hold. Maybe at some point we'll come back and finish it because, um... I mean, it, I was having fun at the beginning, but it just, it's kind of annoying. I can't really explain it. 
Anyway, also, I did say like the video. Also, subscribe um, so and hit the bell icon if you want to so you don't miss any of our TBA battles. Um, our This is going up on Tuesday. Our TBA battle will be going up on Saturday. Um, let me know if you guys would like me to do to change that schedule uh, because, honestly, like the I'm battling on Sunday night, and this is going up six days later, um, the battle, that is. And... Um, you know, the reason why I chose Saturday is because our battle window is Monday through Friday. But, you know, maybe I can do Thursday if, if all my battles are going to be at the beginning of the week. So I, I don't know. Um, so, with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you did enjoy, like I said, a million times. Um, but remember, one video from Big Time keeps your life sublime. So, until next time, bye.